Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicListens.com. Interesting video for you today. Uh, this is a motion detector. can uh, detect motion up to about, I'd say, three-fourths of a meter away. Now what makes this cool is, uh, while a lot of people like PIR sensors, passive infrared sensors, I hate them. I'm making a kit with one of them, but I'm customizing it to the way I want to use it. Problem is, I find the outputs to be unstable and unreliable, uh, even with the Fresnel caps. But this is an infrared sensor that turns on and off based on motion, and it's got a relatively quick response time, whereas a PIR sensor does not. At least your standard PIR sensor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to breach the uh, the infrared beam, and I move back, breach it again, move back. I'll just put my hand in front of it. Keep it there. Now, right now, I'm about a foot away. I'm going to move away again. So, what I'll do is I will turn the video off and set it up so that you can uh, see me moving in front of it, see how far back I am. What this is doing is it's picking up the infrared signal coming off my body. So, <clears throat> it's just... So it's, as you can see, it's got a pretty good response time. Much better than a PIR sensor anyway. Not as good as a laser circuit, but it doesn't have a direct beam. It's got a relatively, uh, it's, it's, I'd say it's got a maybe a 30 degree range. Anyway, I bought 10 of these just to test them out. I think they're really cool. They have three pins, 5 volts, VCC, and ground, GND, and out. Very easy to use. When uh, when uh, when there's nothing breaching the when there's nothing detected by the infrared sensor, the output is low. The LED is off. When something breaches, the output goes high. Very easily interface with your Arduino. Really good for security circuits. Uh, I'm going to use some of these in the future, and I'm certainly going to order more because they have better performance than I thought they would have. And as I said. I do, I, I like this better than I like my standard PIR sensor. Your standard PIR sensor might have a better range and a bigger window, but again, the outputs swing and uh, they don't have as good a response time, I find. So anyway, I hope you liked it. I hope you thought it was an interesting video. Um, thank you very much for watching. I just got some new stuff in, so check out engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. Uh, more in by the end of the week. Some new kits. And uh, I've got uh, voice recognition modules on the way. I know I keep mentioning it. They're on the way. Easy RFID modules. Now, these both stand alone, so you don't have to interface with your PC, which is awesome. Anyway, thanks again for watching, everyone.